In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for CH3COOH plus CaOH2, acetic acid plus calcium hydroxide. You'll often see this acetic acid written like this here. Same number of atoms. I like this one a little bit better. It's a little more descriptive. This is a carboxylic acid, and this H, that's what's making this an acid. So we'll use this version here in this video, but you may see this. So when I first look at the equation, I see that I have water here, and then I have a salt. We have a metal in this group of nonmetals. So if you have a salt and you have water, you should be thinking that you have, you might have a neutralization reaction. If we look at the reactants, we said we have acetic acid, and then we have a metal bonded to an OH group. So this is a hydroxide group, and this is a metal. Calcium hydroxide, that's gonna be a base. Acid plus base gives us salt and water. That's neutralization. It's helpful if you memorize this table of common acids and bases here. That'll make things go a lot quicker for you in chemistry. Let's look at a table of common types of reactions here just to see what's going on. We have our neutralization reaction, but this is also considered a double replacement reaction. That's because the calcium and the hydrogen, they switch places, they replace each other. So now we have a calcium with the CH3COOH right here. And then we have our hydrogen with the OH. HOH, that's H2O. For this to really make sense though, we do need to balance the equation. Looks like we put a two here and a two here. So that'll make more sense. This is a double displacement reaction and a neutralization reaction. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for CH3COOH plus CaOH2, acetic acid plus calcium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.